What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to simplify expressions that have the natural base e, all right? Now e, it's basically just kind of like a special number like pi, okay? But we can basically treat it kind of like a variable. So here we have e cubed times e to the fifth. Well, we have the same base, right? So then we can simplify this as e, and then since we have the same bases, here, since we're multiplying, we can just add the exponents together. So 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, right? So then this is equal to e to the 8. Now here we have 27e to the 7th over 3e to the 4th. Now we can simplify or basically factor out the numbers. So 27 over 3, uh, that's equal to 9 over 1, right? Or simply just 9. So we can write a 9 on top. And then we can multiply that by what we still have in our fraction left over, which is e to the seventh over e to the fourth. Now, again, we have the same base, right? E is right here. And when we're dividing, you have to subtract exponents. And you always start with the one on top, okay? So then uh, this portion right here, this is going to be equal to e to the seventh minus four, okay? And then remember, we're still multiplying by nine right here, okay? So we have 9 times e to the 7 minus 4. So then this is equal to 9 uh, times e raised to the third power, right? That'd be our answer. Okay, now here we have a similar problem. So 11e to the 9th over 22e to the 10th. Now again, we can simplify our numbers, right? So 11 over 22 is equal to 1 half. So this is going to be equal to 1 half. And then we're going to multiply by what? We have left over here, which is e to the ninth over e to the tenth, okay? So again, uh, we have the same bases, so we can just subtract the exponents here. So then this is gonna be equal to one half times, and then here we're gonna have e to the nine minus 10, and that's equal to negative one, right? So then this is equal to one half times e to the negative one. Okay, so then this is equal to one half times uh, e to the negative first power. Well, remember, whenever you have a negative exponent, all you have to do is write this as one over, and then you put this whole thing in the denominator, the only difference being you turn the exponent positive, right? So down here, we're gonna have e raised to the positive first power, which is simply equal to e. Okay, so then here, uh, 1 half times 1 over e is just equal to 1 over uh, 2 times e is just 2e, all right? So that's our answer right here. Okay, next we have 4 times e raised to the negative 2x, and then all that is raised to the third power, right? So uh, this exponent that we have out here, we have to apply it to everything that's inside of the parentheses. So here inside the parentheses, we basically have two different terms, right? We have this 4 and this e raised to the negative 2x, right? So we have to apply the exponent to both of these. So this is going to be equal to 4 raised to the third power times e uh, raised to the negative 2x, right? And then we're going to raise this whole thing to the third power. Okay, so then here, 4 cubed, that's equal to 64. And then here, e raised to the negative 2x, all raised to the third power. Uh, whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, in order to simplify that, you just multiply that together. So then this will be equal to negative 6x, right? So then we have 64 times e raised to the negative 6x. Okay, now again, here we have a negative exponent. So in order to simplify that into a fraction, we can basically do the same thing we did over here. So then simplifying this, uh, we're going to have 64 times, and then this guy again goes in a fraction, so it's going to be 1 over e raised to the positive 6x. Okay, and then multiplying these two guys together, we're going to get 64 over e raised to the 6x. All right, there's your answer here. All right, uh, now we have a radical, right? We have a square root. So we have the square root of 9e raised to the 6x. Okay, well, if you notice something, 9 is a perfect square, so I'm going to break these up into their own radicals. So I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of 9 times the square root of e to the 6x. All right, the square root of 9 is equal to 3. 
And then here, the square root of e to the 6x. Uh, well, we can simplify this. So uh, let's write it up here. Whenever you take the square root of a number, it's the same thing as raising that number to the 1 half power. If you ever take the cube root of a number, it's the same thing as raising that to the 1 third power. If you have the fourth root of a number, it's the same thing as raising it to the 1 fourth power, and so on. I think you get the point, okay? So here we can rewrite this as, uh, let's write it right here, e to the 6x all raised to the 1 half power, right? Because we're taking the square root of it. So now, as you can see, we can simplify this exponent because, again, we have a power raised to another power, so we can just multiply those together to simplify them. So 6 times a half is just equal to 3, right? So then here, this is all equal to 3 times e raised to the 3x. Okay, so that would be our answer right here. And now let's just do one more. So here we have e raised to the x times e raised to the negative 6x times e raised to the 8th, all right? Now, as you can see, again, we have all the same bases, right? And we're multiplying. So that means we just have to add the exponents together, right? So here, this is all going to be equal to e raised to the x plus negative 6x. So x plus negative 6x and plus 8, right? So then this is going to be equal to e. Now x plus negative 6x is the same thing as x minus 6x, which is negative 5x, right? So negative 5x and then plus 8, right? So you can leave it like this, or you can flip these two just to write the positive number first if you want. So you could write it as e raised to the 8 minus 5x, right? Either one of these would work. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.